Hello, my name is Muhammad Izzat bin Abu Bakar. So today, me and the other members will uh, explain, will spread, explain our reports uh, about the incidents of every given at the Suez Canal. So before we go deeply into the chronology of the incidents, I will explain first about the Suez Canal and the every given vessel. So in this maritime and logistic activities, uh, this is already contributes a lot of benefits toward the global economy. So this is because uh, the route of the transportation is very vital to make sure that the trans that the transportation process can be implemented in the fastest way. So mostly, ninety percent of our products that we use every day is uh, is delivered by the waterway. So uh, this because this is one of the efficient way and the most cheapest compared with the air and airplane. So one of the famous uh, water lanes in the world in this world is a Suez Canal. So Suez Canal is one of the important routes to the vessel uh, where it will helps all the merchant ships and the other various of ships uh, easily cross the sea uh, from the Asia to the Europe country. So since the uh, since the, since the opening of the Suez Canals, the origin country has uh, gained a lot of profits. So based on, on the article on 2019, uh, the Egypt country has succeeded uh, gained the profit about uh, 7.923 billion US dollar. This is because the specification of the Suez Canal is very suitable and very efficient for all type various for various type of ship in terms of size, weight, and weight. So the depth the depth of this Suez Canal is about 24 meters and the width and the width of this Suez Canal have been improvised from 55 meter to 61.6 meter. So next I will explain about the every given vessels. So every given is one of the biggest vessels that ever been created by the human human work. So this ever given vessel is owned by the Evergreen company that's located in the Chinese country. So this ever given has been has been built in 2018 at the Kaisa Kaisens uh, at the Japan at the Japan country. So uh, basically every given has been uh, recorded as been stated as the biggest vessels that ever been created. So besides that, this this, speci this specification of this vessel also has met the other vessels cannot be compete with this ever given vessels. For the engines, this vessel has been powered by the two-stroke diesel engine and it will provide 79,500 horsepower. So it is complete with a boat, two boat thruster and used by the fixed pitch propeller. Over the past year, one of the largest ships which are ever given ship will block the world's key shipping canals that cost a billion of dollars in trade had been delayed. This incident happened on 23 March 2021, which is on Tuesday, because of at that time the weather is not quite good because there has a sandstorm, and otherwise the ship are handling a large quantity of the container that make the ship surface are more wider, and as we know. The wider of the ship surface, the high possibility of the sandstorm to push the ship into the wrong position which were on the horizontally position. Also, the waterway are really vital that lead the ship stuck on the east bank and the west bank of the canal. They also some information agreed that this is also because of the human error where they say before this there has no incident happen like this and this is the first incident of ship getting stuck at the Suez Canal. From these pictures, we can see that there has a rebreath on the both sides which is the rebreath is a stone on the cliff lining that made the ship get more stuck and more difficult to move. From the information that we get, there are some methods that have been used to free ever given ship from stuck at the Suez Canal which is they use more than 10 tack boats to help pull and push the ship from the side. Other than that, they also use a dragger to suck and pump 
a sediment from the bottom of the canal to open the space for the bow side of the ship. An excavator also have been used to remove the soil from the canal's bank to help free the front of the ship. And from what we analyze, the bow side are more stuck than the stern side. After a several day of working on this mission, it was a big hit because they removed 1 million cubic feet of water and mud under the ship. Besides that, there are 9,000 tons of water from ever given ballast water are used to stabilize and lighten the ship. But all of this effort that been doing almost a week has not really successful. So, for a final moment, on 28 March 2021, which is on Sunday night, luckily it was a full moon which there will be a tide that make the water level increase and this phenomena really helped to reflect the ship and help the mission. A powerful tugboat which is Dutch flag of God and the Italian flag Carlo Magno also used to help free the ship. On 29 March 2021 which is on Monday, they managed to free the stern that is a visible sign of progress. And this is what happened on 29 March, which is on 4.21 a.m. The both side and stern side are still stuck and the tugs are still working straight to free the ship. And at 4.31 a.m., the, the ship party refloat. The stern side was released but the both side was still stuck. And at 2.58 p.m., the tugboat still walking, keep pulling the ship because the bow side are still stuck. And at 3 or 2 p.m., the ship was fully dislodged, which is the bow side was released. On the afternoon, the ever given ship was shattered free, and the mood in the Swiss Canal was a bullion where the walker cheered. And we can hear the vessel hung to celebrate the effort to success this mission. My name is Nurhid Maidai Binti Ismawi. Today I will tell you guys the, about the factor of incident at the Swiss Canal. The, there are several factors that cause it were given container ship to run aground in the Swiss Canal. The first was due to strong wind, the weather in the canal zone worse and the wind from the south, south increased as the ship made its way to the port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands. So at that time, the canal authority did not have a system that could monitor weather condition or warm ship of a bad weather. Um, the, this is because Egypt is at the beginning of a season called Kamsin, a period of about 50 days during which sporadic the storm and strong wind blow from the Sahara. So Kamsin, Kamsin usually start in April but has been known to start in late March which causes the wind be a very strong at that time. We did not know when it can be wind, either before, during, or after. We just a normal person, right? Second factor is high speed of the ship. Um, so the point is difficult to control when it uh, reach to a uh, high speed. Um, second he is had be get been gradually increased at extent the speed limit of 8.6 knots set by the SEA. That means is Swiss Canal Authority. So it's it's began to approach level that will drill some in the industry to reach such a high speed. So by the by seven twenty nine a.m. it's pulled out of the opening turn. If a given was moving at thirteen point seven knots, not so therefore at seven twenty twenty two. AM when Ever Given ship took the opening run of the cannon, Ever Given was alone. Ahead of ship is the Al Nasira ship near the the one point one one fifty one kilometer Kana Maker. The distance from the northern termi terminus at Port Said with a Costco Galaxy on. 
best ahead of ever given is the um, the ever ahead of ever given is the Max Dever steam toward the canal in just with a uh, ever given ahead. Next, the impact of the incident of Ever Given at Suez Canal. So basically, our group has identified four impact toward the incident. The first impact was the ship condition at the entry and exit of the Suez Canal. For the first impact, as we know that the ship of Ever Given was stuck for six day and seven hour at the canal. This blockage has result a uh, hundred of ship are queued to enter and exit of the Suez Canal. Based on the report from CNBC, there are more or less 400 ships were queued during the period of the blockage. In addition, there are some ships that had to use the long road in order to reach the destination port at the right time. However, more ships were willing to wait until the blockage was removed. The second impact is the impact of global losses. As we know that maritime industry is creating a big money every day. Therefore, these incidents are inescapable from the huge of losses. Based on the report, the total losses was estimated to be 54 billion USD for only 6 day and 7 hour, which means every hour are equivalent to 400 million USD or 9 billion for only one day. Hence, the losses of global threat was also affected all the party that is related to the threat. For example, the chatterer, the insurer and the port as well. According to the report, the losses was estimated to be 12% of the world economic threat at 2021. Next is the impact to supply chain. Due to the incident, the delivery of the raw material all around the world were delayed. Thus, it has impacted many country plans for the national development. For example, when the raw material that was carried by the vessel that cannot enter or exit from the canal, the manufacturing company will stop as there is no enough raw material to perform the production of product. Hence, when there is no product at the market, the customer cannot have what they want and this is equal to decreasing of economy growth in some country. The last impact is the impact to the insurance party. As we know that the incident involved in a big money and the ever given is who to blame with. However, the ever given was not the only one that incurred the losses, but hundreds of ship. In these cases, if all the ship has the insurance protections, hence the insurance party is the one who incurred the losses by the ship. This is because due to the insurance party policy, when the ship incur uh, damage or losses, they are subjected to take the role of the ship to pay the compensation. For example, the insurance company of the ever given has paid 550 million USD to the Egyptian government as a compensation. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Asli Muhammad Rasim and today I'm going to present about ways that the ever given incident can be avoided. So jumping to the first solution, the Suez Canal has to be expanded to fit its purpose in the 21st century. Now why is this expansion is important? Ships like Ever Given has become the norm in the 21st century. Ever Given is an example to the new breed of mega ship and one of the largest container vessels in the world. Now because of its size, it was right on the upper limit of what is permissible to traverse through the Suez Canal. Now luckily the Suez Canal Authority has announced a mega project to expand the Suez Canal, specifically the southernmost of the canal, where the Ever Given is aground. According to Suez Canal Authority, the existing channel would be widened to 40 meters and deepened to 72 feet from 66 feet originally. By doing this improvisation to the Suez Canal, it improved the ship's navigation by 28%, especially in the difficult part of the canal. Now, going to the second solution to avoid the ever given incident to happen again is to improve the current core training. So, according to Osama Rabi, the head of the Suez Canal authorities made this claim after the ever given event, suggesting that the human mistake might have been to blame rather to un unfavorable circumstances. Correct is defined as convention on the international regulation for preventing collision at sea. Basically, corrects are a set of guidelines that navigation officers might abide 
but we buy in order to prevent collision at sea. Uh, all seagoing officers are required to comprehend and be able to use it in the practical scenarios to improve the current correct training and prevent the human error by looking into the current issues with applying corrects, a new significant and prestigious EU-funded project named ACT, uh, Avoiding Collision at Sea, will address this problem. The project partners will subsequently create a new online course that makes understanding correct simpler and easier. This project specifically aims to examine and animate collision and near miss incident from each partner nation to be utilized as educational resources uh, to improve seafarers' comprehension and use of Corex. And lastly, the use of artificial intelligence to increase ships' navigation and prevent marine collision has gained popularity in the recent years. One of the big business at the forefront of this industry is Orca AI. Now, basically, Orca AI is an AI-based navigation system that employs cameras and sensors to offer real-time information about the ships. And the, the, the technology can assist in uh, avoiding collision by delivering real-time information about a ship surrounding and flagging potential collision risks. If there is a chance of collision, it can also warn the ship's crew, giving them more time to take evasive action. Now, the technology developed by Orca AI has the potential to increase safety, lessen environment, environmental harm, and save life in the maritime sector. So, as a conclusion, the blockage incident of ever given in the Suez Canal has left uh, many negative effects not just towards the Suez Canal and the ever Evergreen Company, uh, but the effect is felt. The effect is felt by all over the world. So, I think this incident of blockage can be avoided if the ever given captains uh, are obey are obey to the Suez Canal Authority uh, and also the Suez Canal uh, needs to provide a few of technology uh, in assist uh, in, in helping uh, all the ships not just the Evergreen for all the Mauritian ships and also for, for all the various type of ships uh, to easily to make sure they easily to get any information about the weather and also can get uh, early warnings before the disaster happens.